Hi everybody, I'm Christopher from Crooked Row, and today uh, I'm here and I'm going to be talking about milking. So our dairy cow, Peaches, has just calved and for the first time we are able to milk her. And so going into this we had a lot of questions because we have me, my parents, uh, even their parents have never had a dairy cow before and so none of us have ever milked and it was hard to find answers on the internet and so we just wanted to, after we did find some, we want to put out another video and kind of make these answers easier to find and uh, so we're going to go ahead and get right to it and uh, let's get started. So, to start milking, you're going to need a few different things. You are going to need, first, something to put your milk in. So, what we do is, there is always, to deal with this danger, there always is, of the cow kicking the bucket, which they do so often. We have two. We have a big five gallon food grade bucket, got to keep it very clean. And this is what we put our milk into as the secondary option. We keep it far away from her so that she cannot kick it over. Um, and then second, we just have a normal kitchen size bowl and we squirt directly into that. And the reason why we use this instead of like a larger bucket is because we can hold it in one hand and it's a little more secure that way. Um, and it's not gonna go flying if she does kick it because we, we are, we're holding on to it. Um, and then a third bowl you're going to need is a bowl full of warm soapy water and a rag to wash the teats with because there is some deadly bacteria in cow poop and in dirt and just things that the cow would be into in general. And so you have to make sure that her udders are clean before you start milking. Um, or else you're going to have all these nasty, nasty things in your milk and it's just really not pleasant to drink. And so, some, and so then we have one more thing. This is kind of optional. I bring a dog bowl out with me and it's because I have a cat who loves milk. His name is Bruce and he tries to jump in the bucket while I'm milking. And so any of the milk that gets, uh, kicked or maybe dirtied by the cow like trying to stick her hoof in it or whatever I give to the cat because it doesn't harm him the same way it would harm a human and he loves it and it keeps him away from our bowl while I'm milking. Um, one other thing that you need to know about milking is the timing. So when you are when your calf has a baby, for the first probably five days, you don't want to take any milk because it has a lot of probiotics in it. Uh, this works the same way as with a woman's breast milk. Um, she produces colostrum for that first little bit. And it is so good for the calf. It, and it just helps them to grow so much. And it's really super essential. And so you want to wait five days before you start taking any milk. And then once you do, you only take two of her udders, they have four. So you take half of the milk every day until the cow is weaned. So with all of that said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to milk. Okay, so here we are. You can see the cow's udder here. We're up underneath Peach right now. And so I'm gonna take our warm soapy rag and just begin to kind of wipe her off. You can see she's got straw and stuff on her from laying down through the night and I just want to get all of the dirtiness off of her so that it's not getting into the milk and the fact is some things like hairs and stuff will still fall into the milk but we're gonna stray that we're gonna strain that out before we're done and as you can see she is already kicking All right, so now it's time to actually start getting the milk out of the udder. So, one thing that people think is a myth is that you just pull on it. And as you can see, I got like two drops out of that just now. That's, it's practically nothing. 
So what you want to do is, it's like her teat is filled up almost like a little balloon. And so you've got to, if you just squeeze on it, it's just going to push back up into the udder and it's not going to be coming out and giving you any of the milk. So there's a few motions I like to do. I like to kind of pinch it up off at the top and then squeeze down like so. And so you see that gives you a nice steady stream, but also sometimes I pinch it off up here and then just pull down. And so that works too. Um, you'll have to decide which one you like better for yourself. Um, clearly, you know, I'm not telling you what to do. You've got to find out whatever works best for you and your dairy cow because I promise you, this is like a mutual thing between you two. You have to figure out what is best for the both of you because you have to be comfortable doing it. She has to be comfortable doing it. If she is not, she will simply not let you do it. So. One thing that you also might want to get is some like sweet feed or maybe some oats or chicken food because cows love this stuff and if you give it to them they're going to be very occupied while you're milking and less likely to kick. So I'm definitely doing that right now. guys so that is it I just got finished milking her um, right now we're not getting a ton but she did just have this baby and so uh, her production is going to increase as time goes on eventually when we have her at full production and the baby's weaned I will uh, come back maybe with another one of these videos and show you how much she is producing now and uh, maybe even we will have a video on how to make butter because that is definitely something we want to do with all the cream we're getting from her so um, that's all that I have for you guys today. And remember, if we can milk a dairy cow, anybody can. Bye.